So, welcome back, my friends. Yeah, I'm just going to put this away. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Now we can start constructing the flower. Welcome back. I'm going to get my bamboo skewer, my Mod Podge, uh, my Mod Podge, my tacky glue. And dip some there. I'm going to apply glue at the bottom. Be royal with fruit. not just the bottom, but also the sides a bit. Not completely, just a quarter. Not just the edge. So the um, remember that the stamen will only apply where you attach, where you apply glue. So we have to make it make sure that it hugs the bottom part. So make sure to apply glue there as well. And then just attach the stamen one by one like this. It upside down. Let me see. Okay, this 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 for this flower doesn't have to be hugged. And keep on continue doing this offset. So we're not gonna stack them on top of each other, but we're gonna layer. So the next one will be attach this time between the previous ones. I'll show you in a bit. So really in between. Hold it, reposition it if necessary. So it's not gonna be on top of each other but like this. Like that. First, second. See? That's it. Again, so next, I should have started with the others. I completely forgot about that, that the other one is more compact than this one. This one. This should be the first one. <laughs> I made a mistake. I forgot about it. Well, we have been doing a lot of stuff, so... See? This should have been the first one. The first one should be the one that's more compact. make it compact just by gently pushing it up just like this gently you don't want to pull it off okay and that's why we create the hook so it won't fall off and just let it dry and once you have attached it you can separate the stamina a bit hold it at the bottom so it don't pull it back the glue isn't dry. Just separate it, make it fluffy looking. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna start. Okay, pay attention. I'm gonna do this with a template number. Okay. They're not gonna be in this order. It's gonna be differently. So pay attention if you can't remember didn't then open your Cricut open your studio open your scan and cut and then um, yeah have a look so we will start definitely start with template number one small template apply glue at the bottom there I want this 
template to be lifted. So I'm just gonna apply glue the stamen so this template stays up. I want it up. And again remember it will only attach where you apply glue. So sometimes you have to manipulate with glue to reach a certain vibe. Uh, okay, next will be template number two, which is still template number two. I'm going to attach that on the right side, on the left side of template number one. Left side. Left. We are creating a layer. So it's going to be like that. Now we're not going to template number three. We're instead we're gonna take number four. Apply glue, take them template number four and attach over, under, over template number two. Let me show you. It's very bright. So it's going on top of it. See? And on top of any look. You can see here, it's going, the edge, it's going over the thing. Attach it properly. And then a piece of it and really hard to show you because it's so light. Go there. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to get the next template. I forgot which template that is. This is number three, four, five. Template number five. Then do the whole surface. Attach it. And this is going... Let me check first. Hold on. Let me insert it before I check. Okay. On the left side again of the template. There should be a bit of space in between. Do you see the space I have? Five, not six, not seven, not eight. Template number nine. Here, I'm going to attach it. And I'm just going to over the thing. And we're just going to see a quarter of template number nine. It's going to be over the thingy. Do you see that? Do you see that? Over a quarter. And, then, and that's how we layer. Okay, my battery is empty. I need to change my battery again. But I'm not sure if the other one is charged. It's going to be the problem. Hold on, guys. I keep on watching. And I'll see you in the next part. Uh, next part. There's no Okay, welcome back. I hope this one is full. I'm not sure though. Um, okay, next. What template were we on? Template number eight? I can't remember. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh? Five, six, seven, eight. 
two step it another. It's not correct. Wait, let me get my studio open. We're gonna need template one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Template number seven, we use that one. Wait, let me see. Nope, nope, nope. We're gonna get template number eight next to it. First. Again, there's going to be space in between. It's not too much. In here. What do I do? Template number eight. Gonna be over template number seven. Really touch it there. Mm, template number seven. Now we're going to go to the smallest template. Attach that. Just next to template number eight, seven, and eight. No space in between. And then we're going to use the last three templates that we have. And then the first one will be the last template that we're going to use. So there we go. Um, which will first um, this one? The it's not not it is twelve, eleven, eleven, and then ten. All right. The center first. Next to it. There you go. Right. Yes. Over under over the smallest template. Really? Oh. I'm just gonna get a new one. So I hope I don't drop this one. As well. And then into the big one over the previous one. It's going to be all layered. Just might have to move the small one a bit. No, actually, it's fine. Now I'm going to do this. And this will be still here. First one and uh, now where we are at now, right? There's still going to be a bit of space in between. So, And then the last one will fill the gap. Oh there. Still needs to move a bit more. Line view. 
And this one will fill the gap there. Between the first one and then the last one that we just attached. And this is what you get. Can you imagine it went from that to this? On how we prepared. Would you have guessed? Like, hello? Right? It's magic. And apply glue on the whole surface. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's put one first. It doesn't matter which one, just one. We're gonna apply glue also at the bottom of the petal because we want that to attach or else it won't stay up again remember it will only attach where we apply glue so just a quarter of the bottom petals there attach it you might need to attach it more so it stays up actually and hold on hold on hold on so that's the small one up okay so the small one the first one is up Gonna attach it like that. And up. Okay. And wrap it around nice. Yeah. It even sounds like real petals. Well, it just looks so real. I mean, a poppy is all crumbled in its buds, you know? And, um,. And all ruffled when it comes out and everything. So that's why we have to create that effect. And I think we did that very, very well. Look at the beauty. I feel like making more of this. I think it's two is enough. Because it's a lot of work, as you can see. I still have to prepare the others. I need to be on time. Oh. I'm applying glue there too. I also have to apply glue here. Okay, and obviously this is going to be filling the gaps. And there you go, my friends. You have created a beautiful, beautiful, amazing gray. And if I were you, I would create three of each. Or even more and or ten even and you can always apply this this would be beautiful for winter and autumn and any season actually summer I mean ah uh, isn't she a pretty isn't she a beauty okay now I'm gonna get my floral tape I'm gonna use light green for this one. Scissor. Actually, you need to heat up your glue gun. And leaves. Which I haven't yet. Because all my thingy are full. But I can do that right now. Hold on, give me some time. I was charging my batteries and not all my plugs or whatever it's called. My cord thing is full. I can do that. Give me some time. I need to get my. There. Oops. Glue gun. 
heat it up. Hold on, my friends. <coughs> I have to charge my batteries or else I can't continue, but I might have to. Oops. No, I can finish one more after this. I can finish the other one as well. So that's done. Good tomorrow. I have to go out. I have to get. Uh, what do I have to get? I don't know. Coloring materials. I really need soft pink for the flower. Oh, see if it doesn't stay. Look, this 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 that one is drooping. So it means that we have to help the flower applying glue on areas where it's supposed to attach, so it stays up. So the previous petals help your templates. If it's droopy, then make sure that you apply glue on the petals. The previous ones, so they are attached on top of each other. Okay. But you can also shape it here at the bottom gently by pressing them and giving this the shape to the the bottom. It's going to be round. I'm not. I'm not going to make a sepal. Oh my goodness, it looks so real. It's so beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna attach floral wire here first. Lift it up. I think when you have this, you should be pro. And I don't have to explain how floral tape works because you should know by now because this is marked listed as experienced. So I'm not even gonna explain for all tape anymore. When it's experience, it's experience, you should know. And what I mean with experience is experienced with Mesogigoya and not fantasy cover. That's to me is beginner. But for people who have made fancy flowers and actually can be very so yeah the pair. Okay, now we're gonna apply the glue on where your vase stops. So for example, this is your vase. Let's pretend and you've. Oh no 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 that's not allowed to happen oh no 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 okay take a deep breath so for example if your flowers when you put it in the face ends up here that's where you put the leaves or else it'll be disappearing in the face so I'm just gonna put it high up it should be lower though but because Here's a deal with the vase. And that's when your vase is um, not transparent. That's one. Wrap it around. I'll be taking this off anyway, so, so I'm not going to use leaves. But here you go. You have leaves. But let it dry. If it's dry, you can always push it backwards. Hold it where you have attached it there. To be gentle, it's still just attached, very fragile. You can put it back. And there you go, my friends. You have made. I have to fix mine. I'll do that off camera because it fell, as you can see. You have made 
Shreddy Poppy Amazing Gray. I can't wait to show you this one. I am so happy with the result. I think she is beauty. Ugh. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay, so thank you very much again. Please consider have, um, sharing this in your group. In just mention the name, help me grow my business. I really would appreciate that. So continue making beautiful flowers. Um, yeah, and um, if you got this from Etsy, please consider heading back to my Etsy store and leaving a review. I really would appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed making this flower as much as I did, and I hope. You will succeed in making yours and um, yeah. but if your first attempt doesn't it's it's not that hard it just take time it's, I think you should be able to do this too I showed you how to reach the color um, I would use sketching paper really wood to get this effect If you're using cardstock, that's at your own risk. Not sure how it would look, but I'm sure it's possible. And because uh, I could actually if I wanted to, but I didn't want to this time. <laughs> I have used cardstock for other intricate flowers like the poppy, uh, the hollyhocks. And um, yeah, you just have to make your templates wet to make to manipulate it. But once it's wet, it should be all should be possible. And that's what we're doing, right? Just when you're using cardstock, and you just have to find lilac paper or purple paper, and then you just have to add a bit of black when you're using colored paper. If you're not sure, have a look Google. Um, amazing gray and um, look at the color look at the base look at the colors and you start with this light shade and um, yeah because it's easier to create to make it darker but dark paper it's not always easy to make it lighter it is possible but so that was it. Thank you very much. And I will see you if you have ordered the bouquet. I will see you in the next video tutorial. And I'm not only sure. Blop, 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 blop. Not sure which one it is. But um, I will see you there. Thank you so much again. And I'm really excited to see your creations either on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever. And yeah. Please share. Um, it's hard. And uh, we all know about the recession and I know every one of you is saving up. It's really hard for our for us creatives to um get by these days. And um yeah, I hope things will change soon. But anyways, thank you so much again for all your support. Really would appreciate I really appreciate you and looking forward to seeing your creations again in our group. This is one I still have to finish this one because this still has no flower. Look, they're kind of different, right? These petals are more up. Look at that. I think if I change the angle, let's see, let's see. Pretty, 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 but that's okay. I mean, that's okay. It's two different, two different flowers. They don't have to be identical okay that's it really that's it i'm gonna finish the other one the happiness and if you still have to make that one i'll see you there ciao